Have you ever wondered about water? Hmm. How does it get in a cloud? Is rain new water? Have you ever wondered about what happens to water when a puddle dries? Does it disappear? Has it gone forever? Water is so weird. Take this glass of water for example. This is the same water that existed on Earth billions of years ago. Dinosaurs drank this water, saber-toothed tigers drank this water, sharks, fish and whales swam in this water. Water doesn't really disappear forever or magically appear as new water. Water is continuously recycled over and over again from the Earth to the atmosphere and back again. This is called the water cycle. Let's create a mini water cycle and see how it works. We'll do this by making a terrarium. By sealing the terrarium, it creates a closed system where water and air cannot escape. The sun will drive the water cycle and you'll find we can watch our mini earth recycle its water over and over. Let's begin. To do this, you'll need a large glass with a lid, alternatively, a large soft drink bottle, a small plant, potting mix, layers of gravel, sand, pebbles, water, and some gloves. Remember, safety first. Ask an adult to help. Now, in the jar, add a layer of pebbles, gravel and sand, then potting mix. Plant your small plant and add enough water to moisten the soil, but not so much as to flood the container. Close the lid. Place the terrarium beside a window with some sun, but not too much or you'll bake the plant. What do you think will happen in our mini earth? Will water disappear? Does the plant play a role in the terrarium? What's your prediction? When we add water, watch and observe changes that tell you your water cycle is working. In nature, some rain doesn't soak into the ground but flows into creeks, rivers and oceans. This is called runoff. When rain soaks into the earth, this is called infiltration. Some rain seeps even deeper into the soil and rock. This is called percolation. Plants soak up water through their roots and release water vapour out through their leaves. This is called transpiration. In fact, you transpire too when you sweat or breathe. And so does your dog. Crazy. What's really happening here? Let's take a closer look. Water droplets are made up of squillions of water molecules. When the sunlight warms the terrarium, it heats the water inside. And the molecules don't like to be close together when they're warm. So they move apart and change from liquid to gas and rise into the atmosphere as water vapour. This is called evaporation and transpiration when it comes from the leaves. The sealed terrarium prevents the rising water vapour from escaping. Without sunlight, the temperature starts to cool and the water molecules start to stick together, turning back into tiny water droplets or liquid. This is called condensation. In nature, this is how a cloud is made. In our terrarium, we can see condensation as water droplets sticking to the lid and the sides. When they form heavier drops, they'll roll down the sides of the jar or fall from the lid as rain. This is called precipitation. In nature, precipitation can be rain, hail or snow. And so the cycle continues. Water is recycled round and round, never leaving the jar. Like our jar, Earth recycles water continuously from the atmosphere and back every day. At Sydney Water, we use and manage the water cycle to make sure we have a safe and reliable water supply. Did you see the changes as the terrarium warmed and cooled? Why or why not? If you didn't see condensation or precipitation or your plants look wilted or dry, add more water to your terrarium. If there's too much water, open the lid and let some of the water vapour out. Want to investigate some more? What would happen if your terrarium didn't have sunlight? Would you get the same results? No water molecules were harmed in the making of this video. They've been doing this for billions of years. There's a lot to learn about water, so visit sydneywater.com.au forward slash education.